New at 6, we've warned you about the IRS scam call. And this month, several of you have told us bogus agents are still calling, trying to trick people into thinking they owe taxes. But listen to this. One of them even reached a tax professional. Eh, not the smartest move. Diane Lee is showing us how he turned the tables on the scammer. Check this out in the 7 on your side, Consumer Watch. Just last week, we got two more emails from viewers saying they got a call claiming the IRS was filing a lawsuit against them. I am worried because these people have my address, one writes. That's exactly how Dan Thomas's wife felt when she got the call. She looks like she's seen a ghost. But the scammers picked the wrong household. Thomas is a tax professional, an IRS enrolled agent. She hands me the phone. She says, There's this number, and the IRS is suing us. I was going, No, they're not. She says, you got to listen to this. The reason of this call is to inform you that IRS is filing lawsuits against you. With cameras rolling, he called back. Thank you for calling me to start my wire service. How am I looking? Yes, I would gotten a message from this number saying the IRS was trying to sue me. Does help me out with your phone number? The scammer asked for his uh, number uh, and full name, but that, answered little, changes. except... How much is it? How do I pay that? Right now, your annual ticket is supposed to follow both away. And then what do I do? After I engage all the details, I suppose you this amount. If I can't pay it all today, what happens? After 40 minutes, I'll the quota. It was time to tell the scammer he'd been had by a tax expert. You're about to be reported to the IRS. Okay, you end up this way, I'm for your case in the quota. We can't say this enough. The IRS will not call you unless you've reached out to the agency first, and under no circumstance will it sue you. They have their own collection methods, but they're not going to take you to court. And since it takes so long to get answers from the real IRS, Thomas wants to remind people to not give in to fear tactics. In Spartanburg, Diane Lee, 7 on your side. So if you get a phony call or email, you can report that to phishing at irs.org. We have all the information, the email and the IRS fraud phone number on WSPA.com.